Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about the MailChimp app and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on one of my other videos and that is how do you create an email template in the MailChimp app? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to create an email template in MailChimp anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you do online marketing, you know that it's important to stay in touch with your clients or potential clients and MailChimp is a popular way to do that. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in the MailChimp app. It's this yellow and black one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to go ahead and open up my MailChimp app now. Okay, once you open up your app, it's gonna bring you here to the MailChimp homepage. Now, in order to create an email template in MailChimp, what you wanna do is click on Campaigns. It's down here on the bottom right. It looks like a little microphone. Once you click there, you will see all of the different campaigns that you're running on MailChimp. But to create an email template for your MailChimp account, click on this Create button. It looks kinda of like a little pencil here on the top right. Once you do that, you will see a drop-down menu and you wanna click on this button here called Create an Email. Okay, in order to create an email template in your MailChimp, first you have to choose a design. So they have various colors and different schemes. So just choose whichever one fits your brand. Uh, for me, I like this color here, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one. And then you wanna click on select here on the top right. Okay, now we are ready to create our email template in MailChimp. So first what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and add your logo right here. So just click right here. And then you can go ahead and upload a logo or replace your logo by clicking on this button. Okay, so you can go ahead and use your content Content Studio. So if you have other pictures that are already existing in your MailChimp account, you can click here. And as you can see, it's going to pull up any kind of picture that you've used in your MailChimp. You can also go ahead and upload a photo from your cell phone, or you can get access to the camera and snap a picture for your logo. For me, I'm going to go ahead and use a photo from my photo album. Okay, it's uploading and now the logo has been updated. Next, you wanna go ahead and change the lettering around as you see fit. So you can actually just change the font of the letters as you can see right here. You can also change the size of the font just by scrolling this button back and forth. So just choose whichever one applies to your particular brand. This one looks kinda of cool. So I'll click on done. Also, it's set up into different kind of chunks. So if you click into one chunk right here, so you can see this is a section, you can move those sections up and down. So just click on these little arrows that pop up. And as you can see, the words pop below the picture now by clicking there, or you can put it above and just keep doing that until you find a space that looks sufficient for you. Next, you can go ahead and add a header image, but click here on this picture and then choose a file. And same thing, you can pull from your content studio if you'd like to, or you can use your phone. So I'll go ahead and choose that one. Okay, so now that's updated. Now you can go ahead and change the wording around some more, something that's a little bit more geared towards your product or your service. And here the buttons are editable. So you just click on the button itself and then you can change the text color of the buttons. Okay, so the lettering is in black now. And then here you can change the background text of the button. Okay, I'll click on done. Actually, let me go ahead and center that. Okay, so I'm gonna add the text as well to the button. Press, press here. Okay, I'll click on done. You can also go ahead and connect your social media accounts by clicking onto these buttons and then editing them. You can also change the background color of the email that you're sending. So right now it's kind of like this, I guess, salmon color. And all you're gonna do is click on this paint bucket down here on the bottom left. Okay, and then you wanna click on background color. So it's that salmon color, but we can change it over to green or black or a white. Okay, so the nice thing about these emails is it does have a nice clean look. It's very simple. So that way your viewers are not too distracted when they look at the email. You can kind of focus them in to one particular part of the email. It's kind of like a landing page, I guess. Now, if you want to go ahead and add other features into your email on MailChimp for your template, you can click on this plus button here at the bottom, and then it's going to show you the different sections you can add. So you can add a video, you can add other buttons, you can add your social media. All you do is just click on it, and then it's going to load up, and now you can do the same thing. Just click here, and then you can edit it. So you can add a web address to your YouTube channel if you wish to do so. All right. Right, so we're not done yet. Once it looks pretty good, you wanna be sure to view it in mobile and on a desktop by clicking on this eyeball button here on the bottom. Okay, so for me, it looks pretty good. So let me close this out. Okay, now we're ready to publish the email template that we created in MailChimp. The weird thing is there's no real kind of like publish button. What you have to do is you have to click this arrow here on the top left. It looks like a back button. Okay, 
Okay, now we're not done yet. We do need to continue creating our email template by putting in the campaign information. So first you wanna do the campaign name. So this is just for your reference so that way in the future you can go ahead and remember what this email template was for. So for example, if you we were selling tacos, you just wanna go ahead and put taco and then save. And next you can go ahead and define which one of your email lists you want to receive this particular email template from MailChimp. I only have one, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one. Okay, next you're gonna go ahead and enter in a subject. So you wanna make it related to the product or service that you're selling with this email template that you created. You can also add a preview of text. So if you wanna add a sentence in that way, when someone's scrolling through their iPhone or on their email aggregator, they can see a message that you see fit. So click save. Also the from name, you can change that to your company name if you wish to do so. Also the email address this is gonna come from. If you have an official email for that particular email campaign, you can go ahead and connect that here. And then once you're ready to go ahead and save this email template that you created with MailChimp, go ahead and click on confirm and send. I'm not gonna send this just because this is just a tutorial on how to create an email template in MailChimp, but that's pretty much it. If you're wondering how you can create an email template in MailChimp, you can see it's pretty easy, very user-friendly. If you happen to know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below, let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.